Pikmin? I guess uh, I can't remember. Ye I think they say, they say Flame Dead. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. Oh, because they picked OD. Yeah. They picked OD in the mid. Five seconds remaining. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it was oh. bottom uh, safe line. Yeah. Okay, S4 is a beast on this hero. So this is the first time we see Secret pick this the whole tournament, I think. Um, no, they played it against IG. Damn it. Oh, that was a group stage then? Yes. They didn't pick it yesterday. Who yes. played it? Uh, I will tell you in a second. It must have been S4. Though. He was S4 and he went 6-1 and 6 with uh, 488 GPM. He went Facebook, Blink, Maelstrom, uh, Acceptor, BKB. Yeah. S4 is probably my my standout player on Wind Ranger in the world right now. He is extremely good at finding the shackles. Uh, plays very solidly. He's he's a great laner too. Which Wind Ranger is one of the heroes that can really win a lane if they play fake lane. Damn. All right, we'll there we go. go. For the greedy, that's uh, uh, that's an another. And it's also a prediction God's had is. If they're oh, going to versus the big junglers. Yeah. If if Secret go for an Enigma, as God's pointed out, they might do the Sand King. But kind of the same story with Sand, especially Chen I. Probably not really change him in the jungle. I think this was a very good last pick against Relocate in general. Sets up their team fight beautifully, and come late game, I don't know if Tiny Wind Ranger can carry against this VG gaming lineup. They're going to be very hard to break base against too. Yeah. Although Tiny is a very good seizure, so mm -hmm. this I would say VG gaming based off draft 50 40 or maybe 60 40. But you're biased because you bet. Yeah, sure. It. Well, I would still admit if I thought they had worse draft, but I actually think they counted them pretty well. What are your thoughts? Mm, I like Vici's draft a little bit more. I don't particularly like the Bristleback pick, but everything else about their lineup I like a lot. Five seconds. Five Percentage. Percentage. 50-50. I think Vici actually could have won him in the, in the group in the stage. stage. Yeah. Shannon? They should have won. <laughs> I think Vici has a little bit of better lineup, but I'll go with Secret anyway because they haven't lost yet, right? Nice. That's the way to do it. Excellent. So we're going to stop here and we're going to take it to the casters. We talked about the Asian Eminem, but... We have the real Luminum here. LD, Lumi, it's all yours. Indeed it is. We've got Luminum in the house. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Doing pretty good. Oh, this is a hype match. Secret versus Vici Gaming. I think in a lot of people's eyes, especially after the first round of playoff matches, you have to look at Secret, Vici Gaming as the two most convincing teams so far. Secret, undefeated, but Vici Gaming looked absolutely dominant, taking care of business versus HR. And with that said, Lumi, we're going to get underway early. Vici Gaming making a foray towards the Secret jungle and Secret very quick to defend it. Both of these teams really prioritize protecting the woods early, making sure those camps don't get warded. Uh, uh, although FY not sitting on any wards right now, it's actually the other two heroes who have them. Yeah, FY got boots first uh, just to allow him to roam and gank a little bit better. A small thing to point out is that Wisp actually destroy a clump of trees on the small camp on the left side. That will uh, left left what was there? there you go. That will allow you to pull the mid lane. Should he actually go for it? Um, could actually really destroy the opposing mid uh, and give Arteezy a, a kind of a big bump in terms of experience. Yeah, Vici Gaming need the jungle with the Sand Cane, but they don't need it to the extent that a, a Wisp Tiny Chen do, because they really need both sides of the jungle free to, to maximize their efficiency early on. So we'll see the bounty rune here claimed by FY. That'll be a nice little injection towards his Blink Dagger farm. And, and Shadow Fee on top. Yeah, with that Double said, bouncy, win game. It's not going to be the SF mid. Now, we have seen some teams run squishier mids like SF and just get punished by Tiny Wisp, but I like this adjustment by Vici Gaming. They're going to put him off way to, just separated from the Tiny Wisp, farther away, more difficult to gank for the Chen, and they put one of the best heroes in lane versus the Tiny Wisp combo in the in the the, the tide hunter you try to go on him he's got crack and shell anchor smash hurts the wisp a lot if she gets too cl if it gets too close and just very difficult to burst down so i think out of all their heroes this the least likely to die yeah not just the laning tide hunter in the mid and late game anchor smash just remove flat percent of damage right and late game tiny just has raw physical damage right he, do he doesn't have plus damage it's all right. base stats basically thanks to grow so or growth so if you're removing what is it a ton of percentage you're actually chunking Arteezy's damage by a ton in the late game so it's a it's a good pickup and nice. back to the top lane uh, Shadow Fiend once he gets like level three or four I don't think I actually even approach the lane yeah you come in you're gonna take a raise to the face you try to 
throw a battle hunger on him at some point, which he's already skilled, and he'll get quickly and easily get that deny with the high damage that he's accrued. So not going to be the easiest lane for Zion. Generally with Axe, you look at him as a hero that can catch up in the woods, but I don't know if he'll have much of a woods to go to. I mean, they've got Tiny Wisp, they've got Puppy on his chin, they already have two combos that really need the jungle. So Zai could struggle a bit this game. We'll have to see if Secret make any adjustments to help him catch up later on. But how are we looking in our other lanes? Bristleback sitting in the off lane right now, 5-1 against the 501 Wind Ranger. Both heroes CSing pretty well. Super is chewing through his regen, taking quite a bit of harassment early. Just the the one Tango and the Salve remaining. But he's got enough gold that he can start to pick up some new items. So it looks like this lane should be a wash, maybe a slight win for S4. Uh, as you see, this ward is going to make it a little bit more difficult for Puppy to apply pressure. No smokes picked up as of yet on your Chen. Wow, this is actually very surprising that Vici is able to get both runes. When you run a Chen jungle and a double mid lane, you should be controlling both runes, especially the fact that you have Wisp, right? You need to keep that bottle juice going, so... They're going to try for the tower nice toss of ice, 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 but it's a little underwhelming. He only takes one tower shot. Can they really chase this further? RTZ is actually taking more damage. Uh, yeah. Because the three range creeps actually just hammering him. Look at how much damage he's taking. Overcharge helped a little bit, but... If you didn't have that overcharge, boy, you could actually die there. And it is the it's the big way they can possibly kill this this tide hunter early on. If they manage to toss him deep behind the tower and then stun him there, he may end up going down. But even then, ice ice ice. He's already about to hit level four here, and he's already got the two points in kraken shell. So going very defensively with his build and. Again, it's just it's not an easy matchup for the Tiny West. This this duo loves to just rack up the solo kill or the the two v one kills early on, but Tide Hunter is a very difficult hero to bring down. Yeah, I, I think if uh, if Wisp had a full bottle, the Tiny could have chased for you know much longer thanks to the regen, but obviously that wasn't the case. So I feel that Secret definitely need to control the runes, especially on the four minute rune. I mean, you, you have a jungle chain, right? That that is a priority. Um, especially for your Wisp. So we'll see how that goes. One Meanwhile, thing I want to point out, FY, not much stacking as of yet. He's just got this single medium camp stack up. Not yet level 3, so he's not really in position to farm them yet. He's got a bit unlucky with some golems here and golems on this camp as well, uh, as we can see in the dire woods. But how, how do you feel about stacking, especially against an Axe? Like, are you ever afraid of him getting level 3 and start... I don't want to say stealing your camp, because I don't think you could really tank it at this point in the game, but at least challenging a little bit. Well, in general against Secret, you do have to, I think you brought up a good point, you have to be careful about stacking. Like, you don't just want to mindlessly stack every camp and then leave them sitting there because they have not just that, but also the Tiny Wisp who can easily clear right. the stack. So, so this stack by Finrar, like, it makes sense. He's stacking for his axe, but at the same time, you know, it's very close where His axe? axe? Is he a Secret Agent? You know? <laughs> Sorry, his Sanking. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just giving you a hard time, buddy. Yeah, yeah. So, even if Axe can't take that uh, stack himself, he could definitely take the experience or part of it. So yeah, that, uh, going for that closer camp would be a bit tougher. They will toss Ice 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 and a huge chop throwback, but he's got the haste. Can they even get the kill anyway? He still scurries back. The orbs coming out, but not quite in time to hit him. That was a really nice play, but it doesn't end up working well. In the meanwhile, top lane, Zai goes down to the tri lane of Ichi Gaming. They, they bring in the puppy creep, so they have a destination to toss them back to a bit deeper, but what a timely haste turn for Ice Ice Ice, and it's Vici Gaming getting on the board first here. Yeah, I think what uh, what the secret here players saw was the lanes are, for Vici are just too robust. You can notice that Chen has not made a single move in terms of gank, and I think they're just focusing to actually just get a lot of farm on this Chen, because... Yeah, his only move was just sending the creep mid so they could do the toss. That's pretty much but it. That's like, it. low commitment for a Chen, right? Yeah. I think I think the goal is to, once this Chen gets his level 6, he just never returns to the jungle again, apart from grabbing creeps, and that will free up a lane for the axe, which is something you touched on earlier. Where is this axe going to recover, right? Especially with a Chen in the jungle. I think I think the whole whole argument is once Chen gets level six, once he gets farmed, he never goes back in jungle again, and then Axe can recover. And speaking of the Chen, puppy's on the move now. He's got the double big birds along with the Sadder, a rather underwhelming ganking trio. I say, say he's about to hit six. If they don't go now, it'll be difficult. But he's not the target. They want to find the Sand King stacks, maybe gank him. Unfortunately, all they're going to find are some mud golems in a solitary Hellbear Smashers camp. And it works out well for FY that he doesn't have many stacks here. He's level 5. He was farming that one big camp, which uh, Zai was leeching a bit of experience from from the low ground. Mm -hmm. 
But a wasted opportunity here for Secret. Ooh, they they kind of rotate around. Ice, He's ice, level ice. 6 now, though. This could end poorly. FY's in position. And now the Ravage available. Toss up to start it. He's going to Ravage. Coming through will be FY. They're fairly durable, but they get the first kill. Now Zai joining the phrase. Well, they have committed a Ravage for this so far. A 1 for 0. Now the cast bouncing here and there. Arteezy taking good damage. FY's a burst strike. It's only level 2, though. Shackle, too late. They get the kill. The Tiny will fall in the end of 2 for 2. But losing your precious Tiny here is... Definitely a setback for Team Secret. You can make the argument that they also lost the tie mid, so it's sort of an even trade, but I think Vichy definitely came out ahead, especially with a Sand King picking up one of those kills. I mean, all he wants is that Blink Dagger goal, and he's just one step closer thanks to that kill. And he also needs the experience, because he did go for the third point in Sandstorm, yeah, so definitely. even once he gets Blink, he'll be a bit underwhelming until he gets that level 3, level 4 Burrow Strike, and FY all of a sudden, 1600 gold in his pockets. Yeah, so something that I, I like to mention a lot lately uh, when it comes to casting game is who has the better or easier to execute lineup between the two. Because hmm. it, it's one thing to say that this team has a better late game and this team has a worse late game, but from that Cloud9 big god game last uh, yesterday, right? You could have a 10k goal lead and still lose a game if you just don't execute properly. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I... Cloud9's for game one draft didn't look that difficult to execute, but... Well, they still fucked it up. <laughs> Excuse my language. Yeah. Um, it's tough to say. Vici I mean, have a fairly straightforward team fight, right? You've got Blink Ravage, Blink Epi, Burrow Strike. There's not any easy way to cancel Blink Daggers on Secret outside of maybe a Power Shot or Battle Hunger, which are not exactly reliable. Mm -hmm. So you're probably getting those Blinks off. At the same time, Secret really excel at split pushing and spreading the map. Oh. And Vichy Gaming, they mainly have the Sand King to catch. As we see Super caught up bottom lane, he'll be forced to turn and fight the X, but the Quill stack up. He may get a kill on S4, bottling up, charging forward, backing in and out, and he just barely ends up going down. Almost gets two, but in the end, he gets nothing. Uh, Nicely played by Secret. He got a little bit of a bloodlust in his eyes. Should have noticed that Wind Ranger had huge wand charges, and, you know, as a Bristleback player, you know you get They always wand have wand charges. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I'm surprised that he actually went for the kill and died as a result, but... I don't know if he would have been able to walk away, but going in there, trying to make the best of it, it doesn't end up working out. Yeah, he definitely uh, faced and, and turned uh, w and didn't have to his uh, bristle back passive going. So Fy is going to have a fast blink, but the liability here for Vici game—I well, wouldn't say liability, but the trade-off is that Ice 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 is not getting much far mid. Yeah, he hasn't died. He was involved in that early exchange, but he gives up a kill. There are no ancient stacks for him, unlike the all flame tide hunters we're used to seeing. So it may be a little bit longer before the Tide can be really become a force in this game, which is where perhaps you even look to Black to get a little bit more active as the Shadow Fee maybe goes for the early mech, BKB, even the Yule Scepter perhaps, just so he can get involved and help shore up their, their engagements early on. I think comparati comparatively, if you kind of look at an offlane Tide versus a mid-Tide at this point, we already see saw Tide cast one Ravager, right? Which led to a fairly <laughs> successful team fight for him. And this Ravage is off cooldown. This really limits what Secret can do. For example, they can't three-man smoke gang mid because you eat a Ravage, a Sand King TP's in, and you just lose all three. So I think the fact that he, he has Ravage on, on the ready for a long time now is... In essence, oh, yeah, a big part. Here we go. They did drop a ward when they went for that earlier failed smoke gank. They really want to contest the sand king, but Vici Gaming, they're prepared for it. Fenrir is hiding on the low ground, backing FY up. They also have Ice 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 close enough to transition to the jungle. Yeah, they just can't. Like, they're sand king, they're or... not going to let anybody gank the stack. Exactly. Like, Ty walks in with Ravage, there's your gank. And you're probably going to lose a couple of heroes because you're so close to the dire jungle. FY, uh, level 7, he's got his blink going, so... Honestly, despite the fact that Ty hasn't had his blink, I think the early game for Vici is close to as perfect as you want. And honestly, I, I would even argue you may rather prefer that the Sand Kid is the blink because exactly. the, yeah. the stun on Burrow Strike has an incredibly low cooldown. Only 11 seconds now. They're going to have a fight mid. Arteezy perhaps about to engage with Kroki, who's not level 6 yet. They'll toss out a cask. It won't bounce. They gush Arteezy. Oh, they have a hasted bristle in the house. The Sand King blinks also ready. There's no tether relocate available. Can they get a send back going? Ravage comes through. They blow up one. Now they're going to look for Puppy as well. Chase back even with the mech. Can they fight their way through the Zai in the front lines? The Chen Hound of God coming up, but Ice 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 still tanking, surviving for ages. Well, FY is out of mana. He doesn't actually have Arcane Boots, so he can't do much despite that super fast Sand King Blink. And now Super forced to run. He'll get Power Shot piercing through his heart. He'll fall as well. Black whiffing on these low to high ground raises. Not easy to connect with those. And oh, my kingdom for Arcane Boots, or even just a, a couple of branches if you're FY. So another.
two for two trade, but Secret came out hugely ahead this one, taking down two cores, and Axe being a big part of that fight, despite the fact not having a blink. We've been, we've been talking about Vici's blink, but if Zai actually gets to his blink, he could really break up these kind of magnificent team fight potential from Vici Gaming. So look towards him of getting that. They're, they're running three melee heroes, and a Shadow Fiend who generally wants to be somewhat in the middle of the fight, so he can get right. off the Requiem. So you could say three and a half melee heroes at that point. A Witch Doctor is immobile, so yeah, an Axe having farm could turn out to be huge here for Secret, although he is still fairly poor. They're going to give Zai some alone time, some personal time in the bottom lane. Let him catch up a bit. Nobody going to be farming top. And I do just want to highlight, I'm sure Weppus already has, but there is a nice ancient stack here for Team Secret, something that the, the Tiny can look to farm as this game moves along. And Dyer's, something Vici uh, Gaming may want to contest. Yeah, Dyer's also stacking themselves, obviously for the Tie Hunter. Um, Both teams can really farm the ancients. The Tiny Axe for Secret, the Bristleback Tied for Team Vici. It'll be a point of contest. One thing we that we saw from that last team fight is that Secret has a huge amount of heal, right? The mech from Puppy, thanks to his AFK farming in the jungle, and the hand of God. I, I think the hand was a little bit late, and the mech was a little bit late, so they lost a hero as a result, but they really sustained through the fight, and it looks like we have a whole bunch of Chan creeps kind of marauding around. Oh, super in the front. <laughs> FY and Fenrir not yet revealed, and they're going to ramble on towards mid, but Tiny Wisp uh, are dodging. They're playing keep away Dota right now as they head towards top. They'll leave the Wind Ranger mid for S4, even if you get that kill. That is not the biggest, and man, look at this Gen Army <laughs> slaughtering these, these poor, poor Harpy Scouts. No mercy. Yeah, one thing that I was very impressed with No Tails play yesterday on his Chen was he played it essentially like the best split pushing Chen I've ever seen. So we'll see if Puppy's focusing on that. Uh, so far, he's been mostly just kind of jungling and, and kind of helping out fight. But we'll see as the mid-game develops whether he'll be ratting as hard as Cloud9 did yesterday. Interesting pick up here. This is not something we've seen much of. I believe the one player who I've seen go for it as their first big item on Shadow Fiend was actually 430, a game that they ended up losing versus Secret. He went Blink Dagger, I think backed off for uh, an Ethereal Blade at some point. The, the game ended up going poorly. But what are your thoughts on the Shadow Fiend Blink first as his, his big core item to start things off? I think it's actually really <laughs> risky um, because... You're, you're so far farmed ahead. You blink in once and you just die before you cast your Requiem. Then you're just putting all your gold... Like, you're putting too much ink in one basket is, is the point I'm trying to make. I, I, I mean, we have seen the Blink Yules build quite a lot, but oftentimes it's the Yules that comes first, which right. has a little bit more in defensive capabilities in, in team fights. You but could, we'll see if Black goes back for it. He's not been afraid to experiment on his hero builds. I mean, the, the argument here for Vici's Blink is that Blink, the more you have it on a team, the better each Blink gets, because you can follow up much better. Right, so, so you're, you're, like, you're just pouncing seen around the map as a squad. Right. I mean, maybe that's the argument. Like, you just try to get to that Chen and kill him before he casts anything. Because before they can defensive relocate, yeah. before they can get the send back off. Yeah, maybe maybe that's the idea here. It does help you farm to some extent. It allows you to move around the map more freely. It's a great item to have against relocate ganks, and maybe that's the idea here for Secret. Sure. Or for Vici is, if Tiny Wisp relocate, you just blink on out of there, and you'll see it coming. You should anyway. And at that point, there may not be much they can do to follow up without a, a timely blink call or even S4 getting off a nice shackle shot. But Vici Gaming, they're clumping up here, Lumi. Near the Ancients, wanting to clear those. Both teams have, well, I would say more so the Dire, but there's a bit of roast potential in Secret, a lot of roast potential in Vici. But still, those crucial towers towards the mid and bottom lanes so stand strong for both teams. Nobody with positioning to do it just yet. Burrow Strike happening on the mid lane here. Artizzi should be fine. His whole team's behind him. He's got a Wisp. And in fact, the fight's going to break out here. Zai gets a two-man call, but right under T1 tower, tossing against FY. Hiroki just relocated out. I think he thought that Artizzi would need help, but didn't end up going on him. So they'll bring Artizzi back momentarily. Going to try to swing on towards top. And, yep. Yeah. Pops right back towards mid. It seemed like a slight miscommunication from Secret. Croaky thinking he needs a back, and the rest of Secret wanting to engage, but it doesn't end up costing him. The main thing is Vici will know for a minute. There's no relocation. Did they so see it, though? I'm not sure if they saw that. I think they, they don't, saw the Wisp time. coming back, though. Okay. So yeah, if they know that there is no relocate, and they see Tiny just help teleport top, this mid push makes a lot of sense, but they're backing off themselves, so maybe not. Yeah, Axe does have the Blink Dagger now revealed in that previous skirmish. Yeah, this it's not a, it's not common to go for the blink first, as we're we're hearing from K-pop Tosis. It, it's definitely a common pickup with the blink Yules build. With for mainly, I think Sumail and Artizi the ones going for that. So uh, another reason to go for the blink first is you're just looking for these kind of 15 to 20 minute fight, right? But they're not getting these fights. So every minute where a fight is not occurring, you're just thinking to yourself, I should have just got a Midas, because that Midas is going to increase your farm much more than a Yules or a blink would ever do. 
Well, it's true if you feel safe to farm. The right. one thing the Blink uh, Yules does give you is it gives you a more of a sense of comfort to, to get out of the Survivability against a relocate. That's, That's true. definitely true. So. And you can push one extra wave. Maybe you're less afraid when they do jump you. It can make a difference in terms of your farming patterns. But yeah, if you're farming in a vacuum with no contest, then of course, Captain yeah. Midas will see you home safely. Peace. It's not just the goal, though. It's also the experience you gain. Uh, but, you know, if you don't die, that's also giving you more experience. But. So for now, FY, trying to complete those arcane boots. He hasn't really gotten a whole lot. He stopped off for a magic stick. Honestly, I feel like Secret of Weather at the Storm pretty nicely, Lumi. They haven't lost a tower against a very strong five-man lineup as of yet. Tiny Wisp are farming well. The Tiny's almost caught up with a safe lane Shadow Fiend, despite some early pressure and two deaths to his name. And I think Vici are the ones who are going to look at this laning stage. Is it's an okay start, but we have to get more done. And they're trying for it now. They find S4. Doesn't have much backup. He will wind range out. They're coming in hot is FY with an epicenter. They'll secure the kill. They really want towers, though. Getting these kills are nice. Towers are the follow-up key, but... Uh, Secret are trading. They're going to push bottom with Zai, and they're going to push top with the Tiny Wisp. And this is where Vici, I mean, have to take without giving. You cannot just trade against Tiny Wisp. Axe is coming back here, and this could be a huge call, but actually the Blink Dagger got somehow canceled. He's kind of stuck in an awkward position. Tier 1 tower. Relocate. Is going to go down. Relocate is going to have a perfect Ravager on top. Kuroki's dead. RTZ, well, no amount of healing will heal through that. Puppy might be dead as well. That's tier one towers. Anybody going to deny that? No, Ice 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 gets called, but I don't think he He's cares. not even taking damage. Finally, the Test of Faith comes out. That's going to leave a mark, but can they bring him down with some Hadoukens? They'll try. The Tornado. They got the T1 deny. I guess that's a small victory, but... But the key thing for me is that they're not just trading towers. Like, that is the ideal scenario is Tidy Wisp. Even with the, the Wind Ranger or the Axe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get your tier one mid. That's okay. We'll take one, one and a half, maybe even two towers, but Tiny Wisp come to the fight and they die. All of that prompted by the super TP back and immediately Vici Gaming want to make a move here. They're going to smoke. They don't have Ravage right now. The Tidehunter mech, is it on the way? Yep, delivered. With this mech, Vici Gaming's five man gets exceptionally strong. Ooh, I think Power Shot's going to give secret positions away and S4 is going to be dead. I do want to point out a small thing that FY's been doing, but it's absolutely huge to Sanking play, is that Every time he Burrow Strike, he ends up behind the enemy hero. So S4 will have to turn around to cancel the Epicenter that's being channeled. And the fact that you're turning around to cast your Shackle Shot is already enough time for the Epicenter to come off. It's a small place like that to allow him to actually get off the Epi without fail. Yeah, the, the more reliable way, I guess, is if the Axe or the Tidy happen to be in position. But Right. So far, Secret yeah, unable to really achieve the goals the of their draft, it feels like. They're just, they try to relocate in mid, but this is the power of the Tidehunter pick. And followed up with a Witch Doctor for the Bouncing Cask, Shadow Fiend who excels when heroes are clumped. It's not easy to engage on them. I, Secret can do it later on. If they get the Aghanim Scepter on the Tiny, maybe he even goes back for BKB at some point, or barring that, just more damage items. But at this stage, they just get blown up by that Ravage. And you look at Kuroki, he's too squishy. Tranquil Boots, Bottle, Magic Stick, but no Urn, no plus HP of any kind. He dies to a Ravage, an Anchor Smash, plus one other nuke. So, given the fact that I think you and I are in agreement that Vichy is very far ahead, are you surprised that not a single Roche has been attempted at all? Mm, they didn't oh, have Ravage. Now, they didn't have Ravage online. I think that's the main thing for Vichy. They they didn't know where Secret was, and they didn't have Ravage. But yeah. now that it's now that Ravage is about to come up, also now that the mech is complete and the tier one mid is claimed, sure it's denied, but the map control is a whole lot better for Vichy Gaming. I don't know if I would say that Vichy Gaming are exceptionally far ahead. They definitely have the tempo, and they have the lead, but Secret are running Tiny Wisp, right? They're also running a split pushing build on their Wind Ranger, as S4 did complete the Maelstrom we saw a bit earlier, mm -hmm. and Axe is fairly mobile. And also, Chen is a much better split pusher in this patch, so that's true. I definitely think Vichy Gaming have the five man advantage, but if you're Secret, maybe you just look to split push and, and draw this game out. It seems that's the plan with the way they're they're rotating through this Vichy Gaming woods and. I don't think we'll see them defending much unless they get a really good blink call initiation. The one mid was botched, which is part of why the relocate gank failed, and they'll just be waiting for the right opportunity to take those fights. Oh, if you're trying to split push, oh, here comes the Requiem! Oh my god! Well, I guess that's why you get the blink. The answer is right there. Meanwhile, Super, he's going hard on RTZ. Uh, not too hard. And just in case there was any confusion about what what Vici gave me want to do, it's time for some five-man Dota. They've got the Aegis on Super, the the mech, as mentioned, complete on Ice Ice Ice. He draws the line top, but they're going to send the rest of the team elsewhere. A bit of a change of plans as they look to set up 
Kuro's very squishy. If they get a good Ravage here, this could go poorly. Secret think they have a freebie. Just kidding. They don't. Ravage coming in. Now the Goo stacking up. Kuroki has the defensive relay kit down. There's no way to cancel it. But coming in for the sidelines is FY. He's got to go soon. Epicenter being channeled. He'll blink forward. He goes out of the tiny. The Wisp will end up falling. Now Arteezy has no getaway vehicle prepared. He'll be walking on back. Unable to do a whole lot. They do manage to get one kill with the Wind Ranger. Maybe make it to a super. Takes power shot damage. Avalanche down. Where's the rest of the team? Black only now arriving, but he's called and kept out of the fight by Zai. Nicely done. Elsewhere, Puppy retreating out and Vici Gaming. I'm not sure that's that great for them. They get Ooh, the whisk kill, but the Tiny survives and they blow their Aegis for it, as well as a Ravage. There's just so much healing on Secret. In fact, they're going to go a two-man Pro Strike. Perfect. No cast to be thrown just yet. Blink forward here. Black, what a shackle shot on the back line here, but it looks like it's not going to cancel too much of anything, and they just run away. So, I, I thought Vici was going to back for sure, because Ravage was already used, and Pretty much every ultimate was already used, but Burrow Shrek is still very good. Essentially, it was Ravage right there, right? When you two-man Burrow right there? Yeah, it's it's a mini Ravage, that's yeah. for damn sure. I wonder, it's, it was a little odd from Vici. Ice 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 draws the big line top, three heroes start going that way, and then him and Super just man up on mid. They were a bit slow to get the rest of the team there. I, I think it's still okay for Vici. They lose their Aegis, but they do manage to get a couple of additional kills, but crucially, they don't kill the Tiny. I don't know if that's quite good enough for Vici. Like, I feel you'd rather not have those kills, but have the Aegis and be able to just take towers and objectives with the the threat of taking a big team fight with the Aegis. Now that Ravage is down, Secret will have a lot more freedom to move around the map. You see Arteezy clearing out stacks. I feel like they didn't really get enough value out of that. Yeah, I would agree to that. Uh, I think when you get an Aegis, you're looking to at least take a T2 tower at this point in the game. Especially when I feel that their 4k goal lead, I thought Vichy was much more ahead. At least just from the item. Right now at BKB Shadow Fiend, there's just no answer. I mean, technically you could toss him and cancel. They do have call as right, well, right, but, but killing him during that time is yeah, pretty there, difficult. There, there is actually no answer. Until RTZ... Maybe gets level 16, where his damage is really All up right. There. He's actually going to go for a BKB on RTZ. This is not a common second item on Tiny. Sometimes you'll see it as like a third or a fourth situationally. Now, it is a good BKB game, to be fair. You're up against Requiem, the Triple Rays, Ravage, of course, the Sand King Mass AoE. But generally on the Tiny, you get this, you, you get this item, you're looking to fight, and... I don't know if Secret will be well, able to fight with it. It's more that Vici is taking the fight to them. Yeah, so, so he's kind of forced into it. Yeah, <laughs> That's also, kind of a win for Vici. At the same time, as we see, maybe Puppy, yeah, Puppy's dead. Double blink. The mech's gonna, actually, with Chen dead and the mech down, that's a free T2, right? Well, yeah. it comes down to Vichy whether they want to defend their tier 2 top. But Secret Chinese. are playing it right. Yeah, they're split pushing. So maybe you have to TP back that Bristle back uh, or even the Tidehunter to, to try and hold that tower while you also take the tier 2 mid. Are they going to get the relocate out? They might have. Ooh! They're going to have to now. Relocate being channeled up. Arteezy will be brought back, and that's a Whisper of Ravage. Not too shabby. And a tier 2 defended mid. Meanwhile, S4 is pushing mid. So it feels like S4 and, and the rest of Team Secret is playing the air quote smarter game. They're kind of doing more with less, I want to say. They'll collect their free whisk kill. It's just the way their lineup functions, I feel, more than anything. They, sure. Especially with how Vici have itemized. They got one for the early mech on Tide, the Blink BKB on Shadow Fiend, mid-game centric items for Bristle with the Vanguard Sanji Asha. They, they are showing just that they understand what Vici want to do. Now the question is, can they hold on? Because there are some really good aggressive wards up now for the for the dire side, and the next rush is coming. Bottom lane, there will be an engage mode to Black. Can they actually kill him off? Shackle shot coming out, not going to connect. They forced that 40 BKBs, now interrupted, turned on, and dealt with by FY. There to bail out Black at the critical hour, but that was pretty damn close to being the shop. Yeah, it was in front of a tier 2 with a tie, a tie Hunter that has a mech. Who can dare kind of be porting in and, and just mecking the Shadow Fiend? That would be the kill. Obviously, he wasn't there in that case, but I'm surprised that they went for it. Uh, when the Shackle missed, from uh, S4, I think that was the Q they turned back, but... Yeah, it was close. It was one of those, you know, if the TP's a second later, they probably get the kill, but... They go for it, it doesn't work out, and it sets them back a bit. Still, end of the day, Arteezy is keeping more or less on pace with the Shadow Fiend. Now, it's not clear that Secret have the late game edge. Like, we see Tiny Wisp, a lot of times your SMI. default assumption is they have the advantage, but... You are up against the potential for Double Ravage, Witch Doctor building towards that Aghanim Scepter on Fenrir. Everybody getting some farm on Vici. They're not going to have heroes that are total liabilities per se, and they have some of the best heroes to deal with Tiny Wisp. So if this goes late, 
A secret will definitely have the split push advantage, but if it comes to fights, it's an open question to me as to whether or not they'll have the, the actual team fight advantage. I, I think Vichy by far has a better team fight advantage. Um, Even with like a five or six slot of tiny, as long as Vichy are in the neighborhood in terms of farm, you, you would you still say that? I would think so. Just just on the fact that Anchor Smash and Requiem just takes that's, percent a chunk of Tiny's damage. That's actually a good point. I, I would love to do just run the math after this game on how much the Tiny actually hits for when he's six-slotted if he takes Requiem and an Anchor Smash, because well, it might not be that much. I mean, towards more of the late game, you start getting more plus damage, and you rely less on your growth damage, so it gets less and less effective in the, in the late game. The, but, the Tony Rapier being the counter to the, <laughs> right, to the right. strategy. But essentially, if, if you could just throw your spell and incidentally remove 100 damage from the enemy carry, you, you'll take that, right? It's, uh, it's something that our team... I, I think that's a reason for, for the fact that he had a BKB as well, early. Wow, look at that. Third time in 18 matches. That's pretty insane. In fact, I would say... I've, maybe anecdotally, but I feel like Secret have barely ever been behind this entire tournament, even from, like, the five-minute mark. Between... I it seems like they normally win the CS war in every lane. That's true. But... Well, they mostly they won the CS Lycan, though, right? Yeah, the the Lycan, the we've seen the occasional drow pick, I think, from Secret. But what we've seen a lot of is just the Chen winning lanes for them, and he wasn't really able to do it this game because a lot of it comes down to the tide mid. Yeah, you just can't really gank that. At least not successfully. That that toss back on uh, Satir, that was beautiful. But haste rune on. on yeah, when tide. you can't even get the kill that way, then man, you just can't gank. Well, they're trying to get Black. Let's see if it's going to work out. The Blink Call is going to be on point. Where's the TP? It's not coming right now. Black taking way too much damage. Focus Fire is no joke. The top point from FY, but he's going to get blown up as well. That could be mean two towers instantaneously. A Witch Doctor comes in. They're really just... Sh they should just run. Give up their losses, but they're going to lose Finra as well. Oh my. They just start to crumble in a matter of seconds. What is Super doing? S4, double damage rune, focus fire, maelstrom, and he didn't get off the BKB. Not easy to do against the blink call. Man, that's a lot of damage. They gotta respect the fact that there is... Yeah, I, I think chasing chasing the two heroes is actually wrong. Maybe that's what they want to do, just distract and protect their T2 that way. Yeah, he wants uh, to make Vichy take the long route around, and they'll take this tier 2 made a crucial tower for Roshan control. Now looking to maybe force out a buyback or two. This is a fairly aggressive commitment by Secret, but... It, it's all it takes with the tiny wisp, with the blink call, just such good initiation and burst. As soon damage. as Sanking respawn, though, you got it back. Super going in with the goo on Darteezy. Just trying to slow him down a bit. They are bringing Ice 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 in. Oh my god! Rax are being exposed and brought down quickly. Ravage comes through, but Arteezy was ready for it. No BKB. Can they call off Kuro? They can. Still, they've already lost a melee. Just like that. Arteezy now being pursued out. They want to kill off Puppy, so there's no send back. Potential Burrow Strike will prevent the TP out. Now the cast begins to bounce. Arteezy really left on his own. He'll fall. They may lose Puppy as well. Death War channeling. They'll bring him down too. And they didn't use a buyback. Vici Gaming. That being said, they just forfeited a tier two, a Rax already, the melee now down, and it's against a tiny Wisp. Hell, a Chen and a Windrager. A very mobile split pushing draft. This is like losing Rax to a Nature's Prophet. It, it gets hard for Vici from here. I just want to say that like a minute ago, Vici gave me at this game on a huge lead, Just right? look at the graph. Yeah. That, that 6k gold lead they've been working so hard for all game. Mm -hmm. Secret, you know, K-pop mentioned it. The third time they've ever trailed at 25 minutes in this entire tournament. One fight, gone like that. Actually, the, the more surprising thing for that stat uh, for me was the fact that they have lost uh, the early game in 3 out of 18 games, but they, yet they remain undefeated. That's kind of scary for me. So now, now they're going to get the Aegis here, and I guess the real question for Vici Gaming is can they get something done with this one? The last one got them, I think, a 2 for 1, or maybe it was a 2 for 0. Oh. It was a 2 for 0 oh in the Aegis, I believe, but they didn't kill the Tidy. They didn't take a tower. And in fact, their pressure on the map in general has really halted. Can they get something bigger and more convincing with this Aegis? To me, that's a, that's a key as far as how this game develops. If they can't, I think it's just going to be secret with tempo control for the next 15, 20 minutes. And speaking of which, here we go. Ooh, Shackle's gonna hit. Where's the Rapture actually back things up? Oh, the Mjolnir cancels the blink, so Ice 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 can actually blink in, but that Aegis is gonna help out a little bit. BKB already expended on Arteezy. Gotta be careful. The call right on point. Where's the Ravage? Ice 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 gets Shackle. The Shackle no cooling debuff. down. He doesn't have the Ravage. Black trying to go blow for blow with Arteezy. He will survive for now, but the toss nearly finish him off. Can they kill the damn Tiny? They will at last. FY going hard in the front lines. The Dunk not gonna connect on him as FY winds his way through the tree somehow. 
somehow they hold the line. They go back onto S4. Is there a casket still cooling down? And S4 will make his way out. Three heroes do fall for secret, but they pop the Aegis. They get rid of the Sand Cane as well as the Tide. And they do it away from their base. So that even though Vici Gaming... Uh, maybe you'd say on paper take a win there in terms of they don't lose their carry, they kill the tiny. They can't take an objective once again. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Vichy is even thinking about taking objective right now. They, they just want to kind of slow this game to a halt and, and kind of compo compose themselves because you just lost a Rex 25 minutes in uh, off losing one Shadow Fiend mid. Mm. That's kind of... Insane, when you had three towers towers up, right, so, in that lane? Yeah, it's it's been a nice turn of events here for Secret. Still on that fight, Fiji Gaming, they get a little gold lead. I think the key for them is just going to be, don't underestimate your own late game. They've gone for a lot of mid-game items. The double Sanj and Yasha, the double Blakes, the double BK, actually triple Blakes, the double BKBs on Bristle and Shadow Fiend, but you can still take this late. You oh, yeah. you have a heroes that can you can build a refresher on the Tide Hunter. For now, it looks like Ice 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 going towards the Shivas. It's only one melee rax, and there's the Witch Doctor Agonim Scepter to look towards. Fenrir or Fy now picking up a plate mail of his own. Maybe he builds a Shivas. Bristle back grabbing the Basher. Late game, Bristle can go blow to blow about as well as any other melee hero can with the Tiny. And well, uh, it's not great, but he's very difficult to bring down. I think Vici Gaming can take this late if need be, and they just kind of need to relax, keep their farm up, and, and not underestimate how strong they are later on. So so the funny thing was, uh, in that previous fight where they lost to the Mirax, S4 should be fine. He's got BKB, he could TP out. Hello, S4. Oh, yeah, okay. They force out the BKB, though. That's his 9-second charge. Yeah, so the funny thing in the previous fight where um, Vichy lost to Mirax was, when the Shadow Fiend responded, he just blinked on top of Arteezy, and then he wanted to cast Requiem, but I think his hero just auto-attacked into the tiny and get got the... What's the passive buff called? Oh, uh, Craggy. Craggy. And that's something that super has to be careful late game, right? Like, you could technically go blow to blow with tiny. With your BKB. Without right. it, no way. Yeah, one, once a Craggy procs on you and your BKB's not up, you're like, well... No, I actually can't do anything. That's where Fenrir becomes their big damage dealer in a lot of ways later on this game. With the, the Death Ward going, and he's not been a priority target. He got off a full duration Death Ward in that fight, which to me is the only reason they even managed to bring the Tiny down. Mm -hmm. It was hitting the Tiny like at least 80-90% of the time. And, and so it took forever to kill him. And this is what pre Granite Golem, right? Because uh, Chen's got his yeah, that's, Aghanims. That's actually a good point. With Tiny having 2300 health already, he's going to be... Feeling good. So that that 2300 health with the Wisp next to him, with the AC and the Granite Golem, it feels as like 5 to 6k of like raw health. Not Yeah, not to mention the Tether heal, which is, you know, so you're looking at... And there's like Hand of God and Mech with the Tether on... Oh yeah, God, you're looking at 550 sick. heal just from the Hand of God Mech, plus the potential for it to be applied twice through the Tether. And then on top of that, you've got the Stick coming out. That's another, what is it, like a close to 200 heal. I guess with the, the improved Stick, it's a little bit more. Uh, it's a lot. Although Black might get caught here bottom lane, Lumi. He's posting up. Uh-oh. Here comes the club. Uh, BKB TP doesn't, doesn't get him out. He doesn't see them, but he swings through the trees. I don't think okay, Secret saw that either. Yep. So you were telling me that um, in the previous Secret versus Vichy game, in the group stage, that it was Vichy that was really far ahead, and Black was playing a sniper in that game, right? And they got caught like once once too many. Their lineup was a lot more fragile though. I, th Black, d this game, Black is still very vulnerable, but he's got a better supporting cast, I feel, than... I think Vici gave me that game, we're running like a Shadow Demon Marana. Right. Uh, it was... If that wasn't the exact draft, it was one of those drafts where you kind of have to snowball, so... I feel this game is a bit different, but that said, Secret have just been kings of the comeback. Not even comeback, but just kings of like the late game decision making, really, where yeah. once it gets past the laning stage, they just haven't made many mistakes as of late. This is, I wouldn't even say they've made mistakes this game, they've just had... Vici Gaming have just been ready to react or respond immediately to any moves that Secret try to make. Yeah. Um, I really like the second item uh, on Zai. Well, the third, I guess, because you can't blink and BKB as your first two. But the four staff is really going to allow him to get out of harm's way or just to initiate further. Sometimes you just have to go to the, the back line and start picking off the Witch Doctor or maybe preventing Sanking's initiate. Normally, yeah, he almost he almost saved Arteezy that last fight. He's kind of the backup getaway car for the, the Tiny if, if somehow the Chen and Wisp do go down. Right. I mean, a lot of people view Axe as kind of a, a non-factor in the late game because a lot of his damage is... Well, his damage is, is really a non-factor, but... Boba, when Axe wasn't really picked, and Boba really loves this hero. One thing he, he said, uh, which kind of struck me uh, about, about his first skill, is that it's actually reverse polarity without damage. 
Like, in terms of stun duration, the fact that it pairs this through BKB. So, if you just treat Axe as a Magnus in this case, you know, he, he kind of had that late-game AoE uh, presence. So obviously, he doesn't give him powers tiny, and he doesn't have Shockwave, but it, it's just a kind of a it's definitely, comparison. It's definitely his best skill. The Culling Blade gets all the hype. Battle Hunger is really annoying. A, a spin is similarly frustrating to play against, but if, if Berserker's Call did not pierce BKB... If it wasn't a, a mini AoE picked. duel, he wouldn't yeah. be getting picked. That's for damn sure. Actually, Culling Blade giving your entire team like haste in a team fight, that's... It's very huge. good as well. Yeah. I definitely agree with you there. So, looking at Vici Gaming Lumi, how have they progressed? They pick up the Butterfly for Black, he continues to farm. Fenrir gets his Ags, he has the level 2 ulti. FY, still a long ways off from that Shiva's Guard Dream. For now, just the Plate Mail. Super closes in on his next big item. I, I imagine maybe he just goes back for the AC and saves that Abyssal Blade for a bit later on, but we'll see the choice soon. And they also could very soon buy Ice 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 as Shiva's as well. So they are farming. Secret. Keeping up. It, it, the graph really hasn't shifted one way or the other over the past few oh, minutes. Oh, they're going to run into Arteezy, and I'm not sure if you want to run him there. They're going to initiate with Burrow. There's a Wisp, but they oh, find I, the Wisp. What a play here from Ice Ice Ice. He know the Wisp is close by, so he's actually, oh, actually trying to break things up, but Arteezy is so very tanky. The Axe Call, though, is going to go on Black. And look at Black. He's losing so much health. S4 has yet another double damage. A toss back. Burrow Strike is going to be on top of it, but where is actually the epicenter? Shackle is going to hit on Ice Ice Ice. I think he's definitely dead for sure. Actually, he pops his mech. Super is coming in hot now, he'll engage Ice 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 to fall, and now S4 turning his attention to Super, but he gets caught by a Burrow, four staff back from Zai, good reactions here to keep that Wind Ranger healthy, and Kuroki will end up retreating, it's a tiny down, but it costs them heavily, the Tide as well as Shadow Fiend falling, and it shows you the amount of physical damage they have, and oh, by the way, creeps in the base, not the biggest deal, but the loot to the range racks here as well, they committed all their team fight just to killing the tiny, and in doing so, they had nothing left to deal with What's becoming a very scary carry Wind Ranger? As for with that Maelstrom Aghanim Scepter, well, he hits like a truck. The fact that he has double damage in, in both the fights doesn't doesn't hurt. That's for damn sure. I mean, you could argue that you know why does S4 always have that lucky double damage? But it's the fact that S4 and the rest of his team has map control, and they're diligently checking on every single rune. From minute zero to, well, not minute two, because they actually missed both the runes, and minute zero. But uh, since then, they've been finding every single rune, and that kind of matters for your support as well. If, if Kuroki could get every single bounty rune, or if Zai picks it up, that's a lot of gold in the, in the long run. Just slowly accruing. Black is just playing very aggressively on the Shadow Fiend, and unfortunately, the team can't quite back him up there. Like, I feel like that's a play that you can make a lot more easily if you're maybe a, an anti-mage with this level of farm, something a bit more durable, but... He's very vulnerable once they get off the play call, and at some point this game, S4 is probably getting a, an MKB as well, and Black just becomes... He's got, I feel like he has to let his team go in first a bit more. That play, blinking it deep, they were worried about the tiny escaping and getting nothing, but it ends up costing them pretty heavily as Vici try to follow him up. Well, I, I think his team did go in first, right? FY initiated, and then yeah, Ice 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 Ravage. Yeah, but I mean that blink after, where he just yeah. chases deep. He, he did secure the tiny kill. It's not like it's a bad play, but... It's a play where it could end up costing them if the, uh, if the like, say, the Tiny doesn't go down or his buyback, and now Black can't really fight after that. Yeah, I wonder if he's actually just really un... Oh, actually, FY going for the Courier Snipe? I'm not sure if they have vision on it. Yeah, they do. They've got uh, this ward right here. Oh, but he'll make it. Up. Okay. Are they going to go for a fight again? They do have Ravage available. Ice 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 getting manly here. The they want to go for Kuro. Kuro, okay. trying to treat out... Arteezy just going to BKB, though. Burrow Strike actually missing. Oh. Now they would have to commit a, a Ravage for that kill, and a Ravage for a Wisp is not going to be worth it. They also have to back, because S4 is at the base with the eggs. I, I think right now Vichy, at least for the past 10 or 15 minutes, is like conceding the fact that they, they could actually teamfight. Like you said, their teamfight is actually really good, but they never could get 5 heroes without having one of their waves oh, pushed secret in. Secret insta-smoke, they want to go ambush Vichy at the Roche pit, while these two heroes have TP'd out. Push out the top lane is black, he's not with this team, they're going to need the Shadow Fiend for a 5v5. Clash and does he get here in time? Does he have the OTs? Roche begins to drop low. They get eyes on FY. They get the play calling him. Shackle oh. shall not connect. Actually, it does. It catches both heroes. Oh no, Ravage coming through. It's a high ground. Down board. Is it good enough though? He'll get clumped down soon. Fenrir slated to fall. They lose the wisp. The axe droppy as well. But Black stands strong, holds the line. A three for three. Oh. A tiny dead. It's a kaboom for fall. And they're gonna snake the Roshan. It looked like an easy win for Secret with that two hero Miracle Shackle, but man, the high ground Death Ward Lumi, we talked a bit about it, and that fight ends up working out beautifully 
it almost worked out better that Black showed up late. If he's yes. there early, maybe he dies. That's my that that that's what you say. He needs to go in late, and I guess you go in really really late when like when they actually think you're not even there. That's when you go in. What a turn of events here for Vici Gaming. They get the Aegis, they finally Did get they some get the big gem kills. from the enemy team too, or was that their own gem? Mm, we can I saw it. a gem on the... It's uh, Fenrir's gem. Okay, so, so they get it back. He recovers it. They also grab a cheese. Will be nice for the Tidehunter, who's still a ways off from that refresh orb, it looks like, but trying to get his way there. They now pick up a Shiva's recipe, and they're going to have double Shiva's fairly soon. Man, this is a nice way to kind of kite and control that Tiny in particular. Do you feel that Shiva's is... Obviously, Shiva's the armor is nice. The attack speed slow is nice. Do you feel this is more of a hex game though? Like for the Sand King. Like if you roll it back, yeah, for the Sand King. Ten minutes ago, you know, after they lost the Rax and you're beginning, all right, what what's my late game item choice? If I can only get one, is hex better or is well, the Shiva's get better? I think the build up on the the Shiva's is just much better. Getting a plate mail versus tiny wisp, even the axe, it's a lot of physical damage from secret. So I think given the build-up, the Shiva's is just a, a more valuable item for I him. guess it's a much safer item, too, because you might end the game with just an ultimate orb. And, and that's pretty useless on right. a Sand King. Okay. I, I do think there's value in getting a Hex, just as a way to deal with the Wisp Relocate, good against the Wind Ranger Evasion. I just don't think it's the item you go for after your Blink Dagger. Yeah, one, one thing to be said about the Shiva's as well is that it gives you vision in a fight. And if you look at where these fights are developed, it's like next to the Roshan Pit in the Rajan Jungle, where... Vision is actually a, a pretty important thing. Zai, thinking about jumping in. Eh, this is risky to jump in. They have Aegis, they have their ultimates online momentarily. Ravage up in 15. You know, Lumi, Secret are not split pushing all that quickly. There's a tier 2 bottom, the top lane. I still got at least a minute to go until S4 gets to the base. But Vici don't want to go for high ground yet. They want to get those next items out. Super picking up an MKB on his bristle. Man, he is going to start packing a punch. We haven't really talked too much about Super, but he's quietly accrued a... Uh, I don't know how quietly. 10 to a 9, but he just doesn't have the flashy spells, right? He runs yeah. in, he spams goo, I mean, he hits people. He just keeps on right-clicking. There's yeah. nothing flashy about that. But he's he's padding the stats nicely. And late game, you imagine this hero completed Abyssal Blade, trading out that Vanguard for something like an Assault Caress, maybe even getting a, a Butterfly eventually. That He could be devastating in these team fights. You know, honestly, though... Is the Wind Ranger is going to be the ultimate DPS of the entire game? Like, Tiny Wisp is one thing. If she doesn't get folk, I mean, Bristle is an MKB now, so she's really got to mind her positioning. And S4 down to a six second BKB. On paper, yes, but. Focus Fire is just so strong. I mean, we saw the two times where Shadowfiend just got shredded, right? Maybe he'll get another double damage rune. <laughs> I thought the Haste rune was the S4 rune, but apparently this oh, game is the DD yeah, rune. This game is definitely the DD. You know, Ice Frog renames heroes. Should he be renaming runes? You know, you've got the flavor names, you've got uh, the burning anti-mage, so should the haste room be Well, the S4 he rune? hasn't been doing that since Dota 1, right? I don't think it's, it's a thing in Dota 2, and honestly, I miss it. By the way, it would be fitting, because the the S4 is a really fast car, actually. <laughs> there you That's go. It's very nice. Ichi Gaming going to push now. These lanes are not great for them in terms of creep equilibrium, though. I don't really think they want to go high ground when the lanes are like this. Um, just take me back, because I have a memory of a goldfish. Who initiated the last fight? Between Vichy and S uh, Secret, it it was Secret that went up a ramp, right, and and took it to Vichy when Shadowfin was kind of joining the fight. That was the one. Um, sorry. So Secret was the one that initiated the last fight, right? Yeah, they were at, they were well, they were in the Roche pit. Then they got the jump of the Sand King to start with the blink call. Speaking of which, another blink call, and they're relocating as well onto Ice Ice. Hey, come he's got Shivas and Ravage. Backup's not here just yet, though. They're gonna lose their Tidehunter quickly. The Epic dunk center, comes though. Out. Do they want to fight? Appy coming through. It connects on three. <laughs> Requiem again. Oh no! Secret getting slaughtered by Vici. They're just so quick to react to these moves from Secret. I'm surprised that Arteezy didn't actually activate his BKB uh, when, when the Ravage come. I, I guess he felt like he didn't need it, and, and they didn't. But the Sand King uh, coming in later really sealed the deal. So the reason I brought up the fact that it was Secret that initiate the previous fight, previous fight and then this fight just now, is the fact that they're, sp they're split pushing so well that they have their entire map to them, and they're calling the shots. They're saying, we want to fight now. But the fights are choosing, they're losing these fights. The more this game goes on, the better Vici Gaming's late game looked. It was something we discussed uh, towards the towards the beginning of the game that Vici is not to be underestimated late, but they're looking Shackle. fearsome. Super gonna get caught oh out here though. <laughs> he has the BKB, the Blink Call gonna hold him in place, and well, that's a dead bristle back.
A little overzealous here by Vici, I think, to go high ground. The X buyback catching them off guard, but a bristle for an X buyback, considering how fat super is, that is definitely well worth it for Secret. That was a, that was a good investment by Zai, man. He bought back and got a Beyond Godlike streak. So let me let me ask you, what what do you buy here if you're Black? He's got right as I say that he spends his gold. He just had seven k. He's gonna go Satanic. Okay, that's a fair idea. Pretty choice. standard Shadow yeah. Fiend build. Safe makes you a little bit harder to burst with the the Mjolnir. Or sorry, the yeah, the, the Maelstrom Focus Fire. And if you get off the Satanic, then the fight should turn. Just I mean, a standard, standard Shadow Fiend build, really. Essentially, the only way to kill Shadow Fiend is the fact that you kill him through Call and then Shackle, right? Because if you're not killing him then with, with Satanic, he's back. I that's, guess that's the thing. There's the a idea. lot. I, going on the Shadow Fiend or the Tide is very risky. Like, you go on the Tide, if you don't kill him... Before he ravages and his team's there, we see what happens top lane. Right. As a secret, are looking for a Shackle Latch. This is a really deep dive, though. Like, if they could get the Shadow Fiend over here with the Shackle, maybe. But if you Shackle him here, do you really want to be going on that? Secret think, in the end, it's not worth the risk. Well, this game, it doesn't feel like it was secret that took a Rex 30 minutes in, because... Imagine if they didn't take right. that Rex. If Vici doesn't make that mistake and gets caught out... And to be honest, it was just kind of a out of positioning type of play. It's you know, tier one here getting caught mid. They could have cut their losses. Then the witch doctor goes in and dies. Uh, I think there was a second here in the middle who also just sanking. Yeah. Sanking went in, Completed trying to save black and then died as well. The thing is, like, pretty avoidable in the end. You could okay, it's pretty avoidable. That's fair, but. 28 minutes in the game, you don't think, oh, we lost a yeah. two-hero mid, or we're going to lose a Rax. Yeah, you worry about the Tiny taking three lanes of Rax at, like, this stage of the game. Right. Not at 20 minutes. So that, that was kind of... Because in theory, they would have two Glyph, right? One, one for the T1 tower, and then... This has been such a close game. Just look at the graphs. It's never been more than about an 8k gold lead for Vici. And considering the, the nature of these drafts, that, that's nothing, really. Experience been pretty close as well, and... It's time for a smoke. One thing Vici have done is keep Secret mostly in the dark. Their wards are towards the north, towards the upper half of the map, but those won't help against this wraparound, Lumi. Here we go. This could be huge. Black in front. Black Looking for the, the jump. Back. They've got the ward. They have eyes on Puppy. Are they going to jump in? Where's that initiation? Ravage coming through. It hits on three. Zai, the only one to BKB dodge it. Now Black comes in after the Berserker's call. Channeling the Requiem will unwind it, reducing that incoming damage from the Tiny. And he stands strong. Oh. And again, the full duration Death Lord coming out. It's mostly just killing off S4. He'll end up falling. Now Forcey back, Arteezy. They've got him on the run. Puppy will be isolated. Picked off. Zai forced to retreat to the right. And so far, they've only lost their bristle back. A mega kill streak for Black. That ward. I mean, I was just talking about the vision, but man, oh man, that is one big example of how important the late game vision can really be. So that Requiem actually did absolutely no damage. Like, you do have the was damage. BKB. You have the damage reduction. Yeah, that's the huge part. As we're going more and more late game, Arteezy's damage, I'm not I'm not sure how closely anybody was watching that, but like his base damage is like 100. That's unheard of for a tiny this late in the game. Well, we are starting They're to... not taking Rex, though. And end of the day, even if, let's say Vici Gaming have a 15-20k gold lead, they can still get ratted. They, they always have to be careful about that. Yeah. Now it looks like we're going to see a relocate on Ice Ice Ice. Yes, the Shivas has the mech as well. The Wisp kind of trapped in an awkward position here across the way. Oh. And there's your TP out. Yeah. Zai used his Jules and a Berserker call to initiate, so he had no way to cancel that one. Yeah, he, I, I, he probably has to, just to give the relocate time to come through. All right, is uh, is a mini stun on Coling Blade a, a necessary buff? Is Are you just, serious? Just, You're talking about buffing look, Axe right now? When Axe, have you seen this? Okay, look, when Axe jumps like eight feet in the air and dunks his axe on you, it, does it bother you that there is no mini stun whatsoever? Like at least no. I mean, we're not flinch? we're not buffing Axe. <laughs> Let like, me tell you, the next patch he's not getting buffed. Because Axe, you know, two months ago wasn't even a hero. So what? <laughs> look at his win rate. Look at who's he's like first pick. I'm all about the flavor here, you know. You got you gotta. Okay, if you give him a mini stun, you gotta you gotta seriously nerf Berserker's call. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll, we'll settle for that. I uh, uh, I don't know how you manage to hijack the cast into a. I guess we've got Ice Frog in the house, so it always turns to balance. Well, the game will slow down a bit now. Ice, ice, ice. 
for Vici. He'll work towards the Refresher Orb. As for S4, I mentioned MKB is a big item for him to pick up. He actually has the gold for it. He just wants to make sure he has buyback for Secret as well. He can still be that gigantic damage dealer if he gets the right positioning. But it's just tough to not get caught against Double Ravage, against the, well, the Blink Dagger on the Shadow Feet. Yeah, the, the double coming soon. Actually, uh, my question for that, especially with now the cheese on Ty, do you just forgo your buyback? And just finish the double ravage? Um, I think so, right? You have Aegis. Oh, if you sell the cheese? No, no, no. He, Ty, Ty has the Aegis right now. Yeah. So you don't need to save for buyback. Yeah. You just go for the... Double. Oh, yeah. You definitely buy uh, You definitely buy the refresher okay. as soon as possible. If you're that out of position that they can kill you twice with double ravage without your team being able to respond, then... I mean, well, you're, not, you're not Ice Ice Ice. Like, basically. for example, Ice 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 is kind of out of position right now, but, you know. Is he really, though? Like, look at the team. By the time they relocate and kill him, that's true. He, they he would all angry. be there. That's yeah. the thing with this this Tidehunter pick is it just takes so long to kill the Tide that it really... It, they've tried to go on Tide, and every time they have, it ends up in a disaster for Secret. Mm -hmm. This is the power of the pick, not just in the lane, but even later on against the Tiny Wisp. Yeah, I think actually the target is just just the Shadow Fiend. Because they can actually kill him quickly enough. He doesn't have Kraken Shell. Alright, we'll see a Satanic now for Arteezy. You know, my big worry for him though is is the BKB. It's down to 5 seconds. Can't buy and, a new one. Yeah, can't buy a new one. I, I almost wonder if you have to consider just sacking it at some point. Because I don't know if he gets enough done in 5 seconds. But it's it's just tough decisions for Arteezy now. He's pretty much out of inventory slots. Wind Ranger has a bit of room to grow for S4, but outside of that, the rest of these heroes do not scale particularly well. Whereas I think you look at Vici, Bristle, Tide, and Shadow Fiend all scale extremely well late game. Sand King can still grow a lot. Could get that potentially that uh, what is it? The the Veil uh -oh. to work with. Shiva Scar. That's gonna find Kuro. Burl Shrek should actually get it, and Kuro's dead. That's gonna allow Vici to do no buyback for do. 70 seconds. It's all, it, you might think, oh, it's only a support, but this is this is the the Robin oh. to Arteezy's Batman. They could go down mid off of this. When we say tiny wisp combo, it's it's a combo. It, it's a wisp. I mean, you could yeah, it's a combo, but it's really the wisp. Yeah, the secret carry. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Actually, that was, that was so flat that I didn't even really know what to say. <laughs> yeah, that's say gonna, nothing. Secret secret's gonna force some TP, which is you know ultimately the smart thing to do. Top tower is yeah. under um, that's gonna be the push. Avalanche from Arteezy mid. He'll clear out this wave, well, but they're gonna go on it. Oh, maybe not. The ancient black dragon really splash puts attack. the fear of God in them. That 64 splash. Doesn't doesn't this dragon look like a seal? Gold. Or is that a walrus? Huh. Alright, like this, flying walrus, this right? is definitely one of the creeps that needs to be real. <laughs> He's got those like saber tooths going. Yeah, you know how like last compendium they, they asked us to vote for a hero remodel and we, we picked Void, right? Is that the one that got voted in? Uh sadly yeah, Void got picked over the likes Ooh! of like your Viper. Okay. I don't know, let me yeah. He's got satanic though, they gotta kill him real quick. He, he didn't can't pop use it! The satanic. Oh no! <laughs> nice pickoff. Yeah, actually, you don't pick the tide. It's something that we've been talking about. You, you just actually, can you actually get the shackle? Off? No. They're split pushing bottom in the meantime. Arteezy and Kuroki going onto the racks already. They'd use the reload. It's then meanwhile back towards top or S4. We'll get caught out. The hand of God used. He still has a TP scroll. No mobility items of any kind though. They just need that gush into Burrow. Burrow? Can they get it? Blink body blocking. Nicely done by Ice Ice Ice. Do they have enough damage? They'll Epi for this. Ah, that's four. Looks like he should end up going down. They may have to refresh Rabbit. Oh! And the kill, he does fall. That, was that so last close. tick of Sandstorm getting the kill. And now mid? back to mid. Oh my, they're trying to spread VG Black gaming. Has no buyback. Gotta be careful. Kuroki, though, will get blown up quickly. He's not dead yet, though. He's got Ghost and Arteezy. He's going for the base. He's like, yeah, okay, you can chase my wisp. And they're distracting mid. Puppy get the beating up the death ward for the Witch Doctor. Secret just outmaneuvering VG gaming in the cult. Oh my god, not having the damage. This is TI3 fight all over again. What's going on? Right now, Finra is fighting on the mid lane, but they just running a distract strap. Puppy gonna throw his life away. He's they, still surviving for a long time. They kill the wisp. Puppy gonna end up going down here, but it's another lane of racks, and it's getting close to judgment day for Vici Gaming, where they will have no choice but to go down mid and try and just cave in this radiant base. They don't have double ravage though. That's some least cooldown for 160. Buyback. Wisp buyback not available for 50. But they use their Shadow Fiend buyback. They have to get something out of this. Also, what the hell is Axe going for? Is he going for Refresh Orb himself? The double Berserker call? <laughs> Maybe. Lincoln Sphere, not that great this game. I guess good against Sang. Alright, one buyback comes out. 
Two buyback. I think out. you have to go you still anyway. Go? You have Aegis right now. It's going to be wearing off now, almost immediately. In fact, they won't have Aegis, and by the time you can but get the next shackled. one. Oh, we'll see. Shiva's coming out now. Super Look jumping this. quickly. Look at him melt the dunk. Not going to connect, though. He's kept alive now, the Requiem. It doesn't actually do damage, though. Everyone at Seeker at full HP. This is without the Wisp. They still have their Ravage. That could be the trump card. Ice 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 constantly taking damage. They look to cancel it. They will pass uh, some... A cheese over to Super Heal and back up, and now continuing the push onwards, still having the Ravage. They'll hold it. Oh, they let it fly. Look at it go, man. Fenrir doing tons of work. They'll bring down the Axe, the Tiny as well. They both buy back. They haven't taken Rax. They have Rax no Ravages. Back, back, no, back. Cliff. They got to run. Just run. But they can't. Oh, no. It's not good enough. They need more. The Shivas, they want to finish this Rax. They try to cancel Blinks. Oh. the Epi. It's online from FY focusing on S4. He'll scurry back. They still have not taken the Friggin' Rex! Now Super pulled in the Find the back. melee Rex! They right can't. Click. It's too late. Arteezy on the chase now. They're gonna clump down Ice Ice Ice. Secret holding on against all odds. They shackle FY. They chase back Fenrir. They keep on pounding into him. And everybody buys back the Bristle. The Tide with no Ravages for 60. No double Ravage for 100. Hell, I'll buy back anyway. FY God. Dodgy bullets as he retreats out. He's the gem carrier, Lumi. There's Yules coming in soon. He can't really dodge much. Here comes Black, he has a double damage, he went for the check rune! Is he gonna be enough though? You get Shackle here, you're dead. All right. Remember, he has no buyback though, they oh, have to no. be careful. Alright, just just back it off guys. You Only heroes with buyback are Wisp, Sand Cane, and Witch Doctor. Why are they still fighting? They got the racks? Oh well, my god, two-man call, but it's like, <laughs> send back, and they're just running to the fountain. Okay. <laughs> Call them into the fountain. Give them both haste runes. All right, Ice 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 is going to defend bottom. All right, but there's no Roche now for at least two minutes. A minute and a half to two minutes. So. Yeah, even, even though... And, and Lumi, I mean, you said TI all over again. They've got the, the mastermind of the, the, the Align strat. Boots will travel out. Secret's game plan is pretty clear. They just want a turtle. They want a rat. And they have to line up for it. Not just the Tidy Wisp, but the BOT Wind Ranger with Ags. The Chen Army, no BOTs yet, unfortunately. They have a very mobile Rat Dota lineup, if it comes to it. I mean, the, the lineup is it's correct. I, I definitely agree with you on that. But the pace of the game is not. Because that TI3 final game, it was kind of hectic. Back and forth, back and forth. You couldn't keep track that, of buyback. You can't keep track of Glyph and, and things like that. I don't that. know. That, that last fight was pretty hectic, man. It was hectic, but now there's Calm. And, and my yeah. point is that the fact that Tie Hunter with Calm, he gets double Ravage again. And I don't think Secret could just bang their head against Double Ravage time and time after again, right? They the really want to they want to like bait out the ulties and kind of just outmaneuver Vichy. Exactly. Baby. And that's exactly what we saw in the last fight cuz Tiny wasn't even in the fight. He was taking the Raxes. If it was just a 4 out 5 v 5 fight, which I think the next one will be, it's going to go to Vichy. Double Ravage is it's hard to deal with. But don't underestimate the rat tactics, man. They have the Chen creeps as well. Something we didn't talk about is being able to BOT onto those. They are oh. looking for a jump here. So I got a four step down to the low ground where Ice 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 is ready for him, but he's, he'd be overextending and too far away from his team to go. And already, BOT bottom from S4. You, yeah. you want to show yourselves top? Great. We're going bottom. Yeah, um, Cinderin earlier talked about how he went for a Blink Dagger this game, and I was thinking if Blink would have been good like 20 minutes ago. I'm glad that he didn't go for it, because uh, he definitely will want that 6 slot later on. I guess uh, he, he's already landing great Shackles without the Blink, so yeah, don't it's, really need it. It's something you you could maybe consider just to like run rings around Vichy, but I think more likely we'll see him even go into something like a refreshing. Desolator if it comes down to a base race. Which, to be honest, Vichy Gaming are not very good. As good as their team fight is, they have Shadow Fiend, who's farmed enough to be okay at killing buildings. Bristleback, who can be exceptional, but has itemized in such a way that he has no minus armor. There's still no AC for this team, surprisingly. I mean, AC is amazing. They have Death War, they have Gush minus armor, they have Shadow Fiend aura. It is weird that they have two Shivas and no AC. But also, this is where if you're Vichy, you have to carry teleport scrolls. Right now, they have no TP on FY. They have no TP on Super either. I think you need to start considering getting BOTs. I mean, you want to save for buyback too. That's, I guess that's the other option. You go yeah. suicide to the fountain. It's not the fact that it's the teleport scroll. It's, it's more the inventory slot. Because we're in an awkward stage of the game where everybody's 5-6 slotted. And you kind of just have to drop your TP space. But they're not rich enough to get BOT and buyback. So... I think Vichy, if they could hold out for maybe 10 more minutes, that's when everybody will have, should have BOT. So looking at Secret now, 6 minutes on cooldown for their Smoke of Deceit. They just purchased their last one. And they're using it now. And looking at Vichy on the flip side, 6.5 minute cooldown on their Smokes, and they don't have any. 
Unless there's something on the courier. Nah, just, just, <laughs> this courier is on cleanup duty. He wants to de-litter the Roshan pit. Crabs Black's two TPs. Su Super's one. Thank you for caring about our Dota environment, Vici Gaming. We appreciate it. Somebody's got to do it. Some games get really gross. You've got like 15 items on the ground. It's more. It's actually more there to scout Roche, but yeah. you know. Yeah, that's scouting as well. But in the meantime, it's a little cleanup. They see Roche, but they cannot go for Roche right now. You, even if you get the Aegis, you're giving up a lane of Rack. So they need to somehow push out the top lane or bait Secret into moving away from it, and Ooh. then maybe they can go for that play. They're going for yet another pick, and they see, Vichy sees Secret coming. They have a ward on the high ground. Are they trying to bait it on the top lane? Like, Shadow Fiend is the only one exposing himself. They're going to try to walk to Roche here and pressure Vici Gaming to come contest Roche. And then if they contest Roche, Secret are going to go top and just take a lane of Rex. That they looks to be the play. They will try to. They will try to. But oh, it won't work if they get caught. Okay. Hex on the Kuroki. I'm not sure what, what it was. That hex. It was a Dark Troll somewhere. Oh, it was the Dark Troll. Okay, never mind. <laughs> and immediately, split push top. They haven't even relocated yet. Oh, that's huge. A Glyph being forced out for essentially nothing. This is where, if you're secret, you just continue to you abuse your mobility and try to outmaneuver Vici Gaming. Yeah, do the same move again. Don't let them take a fight. They Copy. try to go for Roche, you take Rax. Oh! They defend Rax, you take Roche. Courier. Uh, come on. What, what is this courier, anyway? It's, it's a flying pig, I think. Ugh. But he doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> I don't, I don't see that courier being the game changer. Man's got three TP on it. But the key item for Vici Gaming... BOTs are so important that Super will not have buyback. He just buys his BOTs. It's a minute and a half on the cooldown. Still, it would be up reasonably soon. And he's just going to say, screw it. We need that additional mobility. But here's the thing, though. like The Radiant have Chen Crews of BOT, too. You don't. What, what, where are you actually TP No, on? it's the TP home. <laughs> this is to run the hell away when they start trying to make some plays on your base. Right, but the play right now is if, if Radiant's going for your uh, Roche, you kind of have to TP to the Roche, right? Or do you just walk to the Roche and then TP home? I uh, yeah, you gotta walk to Roche. There's nothing to BOT oh to my anyway. God. There, is this is this gonna be the million dollar Berserker call? Well, they haven't. Won. This is not your grand final, so it could be. I feel like both of these teams, they're heavy favorites to be in that grand finals. Whoever loses this series, but with that said, Vici Gaming. It looks like they might have finally cracked the code versus Seeker, but they haven't just yet. Arteezy going to engage into Super. He has a Bissel Blade here, turns his back, and now BKBs, and they're going to start pushing in the top lane. As FY goes on to the back lines, he will jump Puppy, but there's still that tether relocate out if needed, they're and they're going, going up. top. This, this is the easy move for there's Seeker. There's no glyph! Oh no. Mega creeps! Easy. Now the Ravage, though. They try to turn this. Ravage number one, Death Ward coming on through. The relocate back. Can he get off the tether? Kuroki, one second! He can't do it! They leave Arteezy behind. He does have a buyback if needed. He'll even toss up that Witch Doctor. Still clubbing. Finally would drop to the Maledict. But it cost them little. I don't I even don't think know. Tiny... You have to force up the Tiny buyback now. You cannot just let him respawn. Hey, alright. He'll buyback for him. It's not just about forcing the buyback. I think now you just pick up whatever item you can and you just go for mid. You just win now. Asvichi. Because you're not going to win this long. Yeah, and secret, just wait until they go to Roche, wait until they push mid, and then you just sneak around the backside. Ooh, Bottom lane pushing in. Top lane, <laughs> going to be pushing it soon. Average buybacks <laughs> getting out of control here. It's one of those games where Vichy Gaming may win, end the game losing it with an Aegis and Cheese still in their inventories. Right. Like, this Aegis and cheese only means so much. I mean, sh should they even be going for the Roche? Why are they even trying? Look at top lane. Already Tiny Wisp on the hunt, but they're going to go for Zai here. Shackle Shot will connect to Ice Ice Ice. He has no Ravages. He drops fairly quickly. Coming in as FY as well. The dunk off the mark again. Zai mistiming it. Still, they're in the base. They're going for the throne. This could be trouble. Somebody's got to go home and defend. Home in trouble, my friends. Home in trouble. FY TP Nindo. RTZ oh, both back. No this could be a dieback. Where's that relocate oh. out? They'll bring him back to safety. Oh, man. That was close. Wisp Zai? was almost trapped out Zai there by the hunted? sand Does anybody, can, can they TP in? Zai taking a ton of damage. Hand of God? Finish the man! No Hand of God just yet. Sai on 30 health, he's regenerating Hand of God on a 30 second cooldown. Puppy was spamming the key. Top lane, Kuroki, he's coming They're back. They're gonna send in. him back now. Well, do they have Hex available against Kuroki? Yes, they play cooling down in 3 seconds. Kuroki, no TP, but so he's dead. But this is time being bought. Who cares if you kill a Wisp? Okay, you got a Wisp. More if you can force the Wisp buyback and then kill him again. Because then the rat tactics will be much more difficult. Can they even... Go down the mid lane. Chen is sending Chen illusions against your terraform. Oh, the rat Why is, is strong super with still here? Hit. Super, please! I don't know how he's still in the rush pit, but he is. He's like, I'm going to win this game myself, boys. I'm Superman.
but sadly, he's not quite that far. Now Black will walk in towards the pit, but you see Creep's top. They can TP in that tiny. The one thing for Arteezy is he has to be very careful not to die. If he dies, it's going to be like a two-minute death timer, which is time for Vici to possibly just walk down mid and win the game while that? leaving a hero two behind. And thank you, Pew Pew. We can see the Sanji Asha as well. Do, do you feel that right now Vici has been putting way too much emphasis on the Roshan? Like... Even before they got Mega Creeps. Oh, the, Should they the have gone for it? Somebody's gonna go back at the right, Super's thing. going for it. But like, does Aegis and Cheese even matter in I, this I, case? I don't think they need it. It's more about denying it's a secret. Because if you let them get Aegis Cheese, they may be able to just throw bodies at your throne and win. Even with you constantly Roshan killing them as the and, and they're just respawning. But Tiny's that good of a siege engine. Like, wh By the way, does anyone want this? No. No, okay. No, okay. You can sell cheese for 500 gold? I think you just pop the cheese here. <laughs> it's okay. like, whatever, dude. I mean, I'm hungry. I, I I guess denying it is correct, but even when they won a big team fight, they were just going into the Roshan pit. They weren't even pushing down mid to force buyback or anything. It's just the di it's just difficult for Vici. Like they they understand what Secret wanted. Wait, to. there's a Maelstrom on Witch Doctor trying to de push. I mean, hey, I don't mind it. You gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, the key items right now are BOTs and 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 not Cleave, items. Right? Bu buyback, yeah. buyback and BOTs. It's not even an item, but it's the most important way to spend your gold. I think it's just tough to play in this position from Vici Gaming. It's not that they don't understand Secret's game plan, it's good luck being able to stop it. Once they've got a, a foot in the door, that first lane of Rex, trying to stop them from taking a second or a third gets more and more difficult. And Maybe they could have played it a bit better, but it's it's very difficult. Secret are just waiting until Vici Gaming show towards the Roche Pit, then they go in top. They're never just running in blindly, give you a chance to wipe them out. Okay, so let me and give you the rat tactics continue. Let me give you an <laughs> the extreme Kobold case. Four man on the move. Let me give you an extreme case here and and uh, Vici can can they win this game if they wait for Glyph on their tier four, right? Yeah. They have BLT on all five heroes. They have buyback on all five heroes. They're so slow at base racing though, and that's can they base race? No, I don't question. think so. They have to fight through two tier fours and Throne and Glyph. Secret have to fight through, what is that, like an eighth of a tier four and a Throne? And you've got Tiny Wisp, Wind Ranger, Ags with them. Good damage items now. So, so you're saying Vichy cannot win? I think they have to go for well, something divine, really desperate. That's really desperate. This, this certainly is. What do you sell for it? The thing if you're Seeker right now is you just wait until you have buybacks. You don't really want to make a play now. Plus, you can wait out the Aegis. And I don't think Vici Gaming can force them. I mean, does Aegis even do anything? No, because <laughs> not unless Secret decide to take a fight, which yeah. I don't think they need to. They'll buy a smoke now, but I would be fairly surprised if they don't just wait that two and a half minutes for Tiny Buyback. Invisibility. Well, Lumi, this is only game one. That's the crazy thing. <laughs> Whoever wins this... What? We got two more of these? Yeah, well, I don't know if we'll see this again, but this is something else. 70 minutes in, 40 to 23 your score. VG gave me with that, at this point, minuscule oh, 10k gold lead. Okay. Nobody gonna go on him. You know, Super really needs some sort of regen. Against the... He stole his Vanguard. Yeah. You know, Satanic maybe. I feel like the SMY is not a huge item at this point. Maybe a maybe the heart, heart or Vlad's, like... yeah. Uh oh, FY, Shackle! Oh, he blinked next to the creep! Did he blink? Oh, There's a BOT oh. coming in though. Okay. Yeah. S4 got scared. But this gives an opening now. Now Arteezy and Krogi can move in top. They're waiting to see a few heroes on the map. Uh, and now the Hand of God comes out as well. Uh, the Hand of God came out because uh, Bristleback was trying to kill a Chen creep. Bristleback yeah. right now can't even kill a Chen creep. That's the sad part. Uh oh, mid lane here. Zai gonna get caught out. Death War being actually used. And a single Ravage. You're pulling a lot just for this kill. Well, they still have the secondary Ravage, which will immediately refresh. But yeah, it's it's a kill. I think Vici Gaming are basically Bottom. saying with that they're not leaving the base. S4 being in a little bit of trouble right now. BKB being used. Can Super actually catch up? Shackle Shot is gonna latch. S4 not gonna go for the kill. And there's a TP out. S yeah, Vici may be thinking there'd be a relocate towards bottom, wanting to protect that bristle, but Secret oh, just happy power. to continue playing it safe and wait. What would Vici give right now for a tree and protector? <laughs> they don't have many structures left to living armor, though. I feel like if they could have had one at 45 minutes, they would have given up a lot. But at this point, I don't know how much it matters. Okay, so Tiny tried to BOT in mid for some play, but Creep got killed. So... I wonder what is going to be a change for Vici, because they could defend this for a while, know, an hour or more if they want to. And it if seems you're like secret, I think you wait. 
into five buybacks. You do the same play of try and force out the Roche, and then either Vici Gaming take the fight, in which case you've thrown it, or force them back and then take the Roche. No, okay. Or alternatively, but in that case, if you're Vici, you just, you just give them the Roche. Yeah, and then you go, you you throw twelve bodies at the Rex and or at the at the tier four in the throne. Can Vici Gaming really kill this entire lineup fast enough? I think they can. That's the thing, though. Maybe. Maybe they can. It's something where Secret may not want to roll the dice. They Both teams could just say, we're going to sit back and let you make the first mistake. That's the other option. We could be in for the long call, folks. I would say go get a coffee, but I wouldn't want you to miss what's coming next. I mean, this always begs a question where... Intravenous caffeine drip. Like, do, does Dota need some kind of mechanic where it somehow makes the game more and more difficult to play. <laughs> what? Because, no, 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 honestly, like, this this game could go on literally for two more hours if these two teams play like this, right? No, that's the beauty of Dota. No, 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 I'm saying, like, you start creating explosions on the map, right? <laughs> and then, like, if you, like, it, it, it becomes more of a game where you have to dodge explosion <laughs> as well. And if you get chunked by it, it's like 50% of your health. <laughs> yeah. Look, Ellie, I got nothing to talk about because they're not doing You know what, actually, that reminds me of the game... Was I casting with you where the map started breaking? No, no, no. It was a two-hour pub game that I cast. And yeah, yeah I, I might have cast... Started exploding. I think I cast a pro game where that happened as oh, well. Hold on. It's... We might see a fight now. Here we go. We might have a fight. Oh, Shadow Fiend, don't get caught, please! They have a refresher from Zai. They're going for the double call. Which Dr. Oh, will come out, Zai? The refresher being the game changer here. Now the Ravage counter initiate. Going on to pretty much everyone as they focus the Wisp. Tethering forward on Arteezy. He's so damn hard to bring down. Now the Epi catches out Arteezy. The Wisp for the time being is back to the top lane. Kuroki not bringing his tiny with him. They'll chase Artor to the ends of the earth. He has a buyback. He may have to pop it. 130 seconds on the sideline. But the throne exposed. The Rapier hitting the deck in the midst of this. It's Fenrir, the secret hero for VG Gaming, hanging on for dear oh, life. Look at, look at Super, he's just beating on Zai right now, dropping very little, and Little Hunter God comes in right now, and he gets out. Who, who got the Rapier? Um, I didn't even... Is it still on the ground, even? Oh, it's on the ground? Invisible. It's still sitting on the ground? Dude, who, who, who last picked it up? I have no idea. To be I guess Windranger did, so... Maybe Weppus can send us yeah, a yeah, message no, no, if we, he knows. Yeah, definitely. Weppus has drawn mass circles on the ground, so... No, that was me. Okay, so... <laughs> I got excited. I, 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 don't, I don't think that... Vichy know where the, where, the, where the rapier is. They, they have to. I mean, you die in a certain spot, right? How can Black They're not, not going to recover it! That's true. And you know who needs a rapier now the most? The Witch Doctor, because he's on base defense duty. <laughs> like, honestly, he needs some more damage. Nobody wants this rapier, apparently. Okay. Well, this is definitely a game of Dota 2. Oh, my. Well, Lumi, that cost them the Aegis... Dead Throne still has Glyph, which is good news for Vici Gaming, but they don't force out the tiny buyback, and the good news for Secret now is it won't be that bonus death time when he comes. Wait, if he dies again, he'll have right. the shorter respawn timer. Same so for overall, Shadow Fiend, though. Same for Shadow Fiend. And they lose the Shadow Fiend Rapier, which apparently they can't recover. They're even gonna, they might even get eyes on too. Top uh -oh. lane, though, jump in on Ice Ice Ice. Big blink call to start. Lots Follow up. Remember why it's gonna be in. Chase. He's right. got the burst strike, but he uses it too early. Now the Shiva's hex combination. Curl. The curl's ready oh, for the relocate out. Asians. Oh no! Curl! Now he's dead too. Where'd you go? Did they see the circle? They see the circle, right? They know. They know. They're waiting. Tide's here. FY's in position. Secret. They've been so good in late game, but are they going to be good enough against VG? They haven't won this one just yet. Go Scepter. Trying to keep Kroki alive won't be oh sufficient. He gets clobbered. And S4 desperately trying to push out the bottom lane. So they have no Wisp for 80. Tiny <laughs> does have BOTs, though. He can go directly towards bottom lane. Maybe join S4 and turn this game around. Black's got to stay on base defense for now. Somebody's got to always be here. And someone beefy enough to deal with that tiny Wind Ranger combination. You cannot, you have to be vigilant if you're Vici Gaming. All right. Can't crack for a second. Here too. FY going for it. The Hex is going to come out. So will the Shiva Scar. He can't. They're swinging around on S4 though. That. They want to kill off this oh. Wind Ranger. This could be huge. Blake, initiation for the Ravage. The buyback from Wisp. Instantly they want to save him. BK Block. will come Block. out. Even if he relocates though, he will die as well. Blake forward dodging the Shackle. Ice 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 oh. out playing S4 in the clutch there. And they'll get the kill. But the throne. Base. The throne's exposed. Blip. It's getting clapper. Yeah. BKB from Arteezy. Okay. They got to hang on. Death one. Used just to zone. They'll TP out immediately. They burrow out the wisp. They'll 
to lock Crow. He's gonna die. Arteezy, he goes for the throne. It's low, but it's not dead. He has the buyback, but there's no wisp for 90. The Wind Ranger has the buyback. The X does too. BOTs are being purchased, Lumi. This might be where Vici go all in. Okay, the play is you send one person. They still in. haven't found the damn rapier, okay, by the way. No, nobody cares about the rapier anymore. There's a double damage. I think He's gonna buy a new one. He's gonna demon it. I mean, hey, man, that's a faster way to find the rapier. It's in the shop. It's always in the shop. All right, they're gonna go for it now. There's the Mjolnir Witch Doctor. The plays are coming, Lumi. Oh my. Do you need the Mjolnir? I'm not sure if you do. I don't know, but uh, he's buying it anyway. Speed. It's more attack speed. Okay. By the time he can even buy back and uh, do anything, the throne will be dead. Are they going for Rex? They are. Vici Gaming are going to take a range Rex here. Blink Call will pull Super in pretty deep. And now, Sephoy trying to counter the sheep, but Puppy stuns with the Centaur. And they're going to look to fight. Puppy will fall here first and foremost. Nobody going into that dire base. There's no access point in. They're going for the throne. Vici Gaming, Glyph now forced out. Tiny Whoa. buys back. Chen buys back. Big two arrow shackle. Focusing on Super. Now the call. He's got the refresher. Go for the secondary call. He catches two again. Black Handy strong. He He's not dead as yet. They have the Ravage. It catches S4 and Puppy. Oh my. Can FY change the whole course of this fight? Puppy now. Forced on back. Burrow strike in. The Witch Duck don't splash it through. Thrones in jeopardy. The entire three lanes are all pushed out of the Vici base. Everybody's dead. Tiny dies back. GG! GG! Vici Gaming have outlaid game secret. 76 minutes in. They take the win. 52 to 25. What a game! Not today. Not today. Not like TI3. That was a painful memory for a lot of parties involved. But wow, Vici out late game. You know, all of these late game item choices, the, the Mjolnir on Witch Doctor, and my god, it's actually one of the most...